It's a card. Non stop. <laughs> I wish I would have bought more than 20 of them. Oh, I'm, I live like two minutes away. I can go home and get them. Yes. Um, I'm sticking out on a couple of ones. Yeah, you take your time. Take your time. Oh, oh, well. Is that the only card you got? I can't spend more than Yeah, it's got to be on there. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, no, I got it. what's going on youtube i am back with another video and today i will be going through my card show pickups and footage will be uh inserted before this uh also going to recap quite a bit of stuff that i have opened either over at the shop um i work again for collectible kings or just pickups etc etc just going to go through it all um i'll try to keep it short and sweet but also tell you enough about you know everything okay so um, first, I got in my Topps 2020 uh, Road to Opening Day team set. I picked one up of the Nationals with the autograph. They did not ship the autograph um, yet. Apparently, they couldn't get the guys to sign yet, so um, they just shipped the base set, and I, there's a chance, I believe, you get a parallel. I'm not sure if it's guaranteed or not, but I did end up getting a Patrick Corbin numbered 5 of 5 orange. Pretty cool. I'll just keep this in the collection. Nice card. Um... Patrick Corbin's a decent pitcher. Um, so yeah, cool five of five. Next up is I bought a lot. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to get the right amount here. Good. I uh, picked up a lot for, I don't even know if it came out to like 10 or $15 or something off a friend. He didn't want uh, his baseball cards really, so I just decided to pick up a random lot of cards. Um, it ended up being a really good purchase. Uh, got a bunch of auto or a few autos in here, and uh, one card turned out to be pretty decent. Uh, he sold me a James Marvel uh, auto from Sapphire. I just like James Marvel because of his name. Um, but yeah, uh, I think he's still in the league, doing okay. This one's not bad. It does run off sticker though. Um, James or excuse me, Justin Dunn. Uh, for the Mariners, as you can see, runs off sticker there, but still a nice card uh, from Sapphire. Uh, a couple Chrome Update autographs. Uh, Lamonte Wade Jr. Uh, never heard of him. Uh, Chad Wallach, I've heard of him, but I uh, just some rookie autographs from Sapphire. This one's actually numbered to 125, the Lamonte Wade Jr. So cool, I guess. Um, and then got two, oh, there's my dog barking in the background, you probably hear it, um, two update, uh, rookie debut, uh, chromes of Luis Robert, so, it's nice, and the big one, uh, that I, I found out was this Mike Trout, um, purple, or, not purple, pink wave, uh, all-star game throwback, uh, card, this sells for whatever the reason at thirty to forty dollars on eBay, so I was like, "Wow, well, that's pretty cool." Um, but that'll likely just stay in the collection. I opened four 
um, blaster boxes over at Collectible Kings over the last few days uh, while working. Um, of Bowman, uh, opened a couple at home with my dad, uh, did record one, but I didn't feel it was worth uploading. Um, and this is just a quick recap of what I got, and those are the bigger, you know, more decent hits. Um, of course, I got a couple okay prospects that aren't in here, but I uh, got a Chrome Blaze Jordan, that's cool. Austin Martin Chrome, that's nice. Uh, hit one auto. It sucks. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people have been hitting a lot of autos. Um, I still have a couple blasters coming. Uh, one I'll probably record on video. We'll see how that goes um, from Target.com. Um, but uh, I've been hearing a lot of people be getting autos, like one blaster after the next. But one auto and four blasters. It's all right. Um, but anyways, it is Davis Schneider, number 250, first Bowman auto. Um, late round pick in 2017, uh, actually a 28th rounder, but anyways, he apparently has been doing half decent, probably a $30 card. So pulled that in the shop in front of my, uh, friend and boss, uh, PJ, uh, the King over at Collectible King. So not bad. Uh, also pulled a trout 1991 Bowman Chrome insert. Uh, pretty sweet, and I hit a sky blue number to 499 of Buster Posey, so not bad, pretty cool. Um, one more thing I picked up in shop, uh, I picked this up. He PJ got these in, I uh, got a bunch of these in for it's the Project 70 they're doing this year, just like Project 2020, the art cards. But I really couldn't pass on this one. It's a Mike Trout, um, and this card is just awesome. Uh, you can see just a beautiful art, like the facsimile signature, a bunch of different pictures all over him. Just a beautiful, beautiful card. Really love that. I'm going to hold on to that for quite a while. Um, that's for the collection for sure. Now let's get into the show. The show itself, um, it started off really hot, a lot of sales, and then it quieted down. Apparently that's how a lot of the shows in the area were uh, this weekend. Um, but, you know. It just, it just depends, honestly, on the day um, that, you know, you go. It could be, Saturday could be hot, Sunday could be cold. It just depends. But either way, it was a fun show. Um, these are the pickups I made. I got a Lewis Hamilton. Been watching the documentary on Netflix, uh, Drive to Survive. Uh, so I picked up a Louis Hamilton, um, or Lewis Hamilton Top Snow card. Thought that was cool. Um... I'm not sure if that's repriced stuff uh, from me or if that's what I paid. Um, but either way, cool card. Uh, saw this uh, and I was like, wow, it's in good shape. Probably, I don't know, maybe in an eight or a nine condition. A Kurt Rambis, uh, popular Laker from back in the day, 86 Fleer, my first 86 Fleer pickup. Really cool card. Um, happy to own it. Uh, pretty cool. So, yeah. Same here. Don't know if I repriced it or not. Uh, I think, actually, I might have repriced it. I think I traded uh, for this. Can't remember what I gave up. But it's an Aaron Rodgers score rookie. I figure his stuff is only going to go up whether he retires or even if he gets traded. But it's more looking like he's possibly going to retire at this point or he's going to just have to suck it up and play in Green Bay um, at this point. It could change any day. But there it is pretty quick cool card really good shape this one is definitely either a nine or a ten centering's really well uh really good on it um corners are clean card is clean so we'll see but uh pretty cool card happy to own that don't really pick up much football but thought that was a good pickup and i used to own this but i traded it away and i just traded it back for my trevor lawrence card and some cash i got in the deal uh but is a psa 8 uh well 2011 bowman draft mike trout rookie card really cool i actually picked up four of these um like black kind of leather cases it's called the card case pro really nice looking cases really quality cases uh way good way to protect your cards um but there's the back right there um really cool but uh anyways that is all of the pickups uh, and everything I've gotten recently. Uh, let me know what you guys really want to see in the future. More Bowman rips. You want to see me open some Prism. Um, I can do that. Uh, just depends. Just let me know, guys. Uh, and 
I will make it happen for sure. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm still running my 400 subscriber giveaway, which the video is probably, I don't even know, a couple months old at this point, but it's still going. Um, if you want to enter, that'd be great. Uh, let's get to 400 subscribers and above. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and everything. I will see you soon. And yeah, see you guys. Take care.